Hi there beautiful people, welcome back to Becoming Health Namibia, I am Miriam and in today's video we will be talking about the requirements that are needed to study medicine in Namibia. So if you are a high school student and you know somebody or you yourself want to study medicine or perhaps currently you are doing another course and you want to change um, into medicine, you want to transfer into medicine or perhaps you have graduated and you just want a change of career paths um, and you want to head towards medicine or perhaps you are even an international student well this video is for you so let's get into it so the first criteria that we'll be talking about the namibian senior secondary um advanced subsidiary level which is the as level the requirements that are needed if you have as level so in five subjects, you need um, a minimum of 35 points on the UNAM evaluation scale. So from 35 points and above, right, then um, you can you actually qualify if you are on the AS level. Um, but, but it doesn't end there. There are certain subjects that are looked into. And this is English. English should be a minimum of C or better. Biology with a minimum of a b a b or better and mathematics with a b or better as well as chemistry and physics with a c or better that is if you are on the as level those are the requirements that are needed but bear in mind that um there is a limited number of students that the university accepts every year so when um you're told that the requirements are 35 points and above it means that okay from 35 you can enter you know that's the entrance points and um provided that you have the required symbols or better in the subjects that i just mentioned but i mean you have to do well you have to do your best um to make sure that you get even better marks than these symbols and then moving on to the namibia senior secondary certificate um, ordinary or high level um, the criteria says that um, the this NSSC um, certificate which is now the old system it should not be older than two years so you're, if you are if you have a um, Namibian senior secondary certificate um, high level ordinary level the old system it shouldn't be older than two years and um, the, re the requirements that are needed you need a minimum of 35 points in five subjects um, of course on the UNAM evaluation scale um, you need English with a minimum of B symbol or better that is now ordinary level okay so English with a minimum of B symbol or better on ordinary level or you can have a c in english but in that case um you will need to have 37 points in five subjects rather if you're going to apply with your um, c in english you need to have 37 points and above but if you have a b or better in english then um, the requirement points is 35 points right that is now ordinary level and in on high level um it should be a grade three or better a grade three or higher on high level um, when it comes to biology or life science you need a minimum of a b symbol or better on ordinary level all right so ordinary level um that is what's needed um or if um sorry on high level you need a grade two or better and then when it comes to mathematics, you need a minimum of a B symbol or better on ordinary level, or you need a grade two or better at high level. So I hope you guys are taking notes of all these things because um, it can be a whole lot of congestion happening. Um, just have a pen, write down the things that um, apply to right? you. Yes. And physical science, you physical science or chemistry you need a b a minimum of a b symbol or better that's an ordinary level or a grade two 
or better on high level so um those are the requirements when it comes to the as level as well as the old system which is the ordinary or high level but remember the requirement says that um on the old system the namibian senior secondary certificate um it shouldn't be um older than two years it shouldn't be more than two years okay so um the other criteria is let's let's talk about our undergraduates um the other criteria is that a completed undergraduate degree program in pharmacy nursing dentistry or other health related degree program at a minimum of bachelor's or bachelor of technology degree level such as science degree in biological or medical sciences with an average of at least 60% over the final two completed years of study. Science requirements for applicants who have obtained and completed an undergraduate degree, all of the following are compulsory, and which is 60% for first year's um, university degree level biology full course. Equivalent courses such as anatomy, physiology, zoology life sciences and similar courses will also be considered 60 percent for first year university degree level physics half course 60 percent for first year university degree level chemistry half course the above three subjects biology physics and chemistry must be completed at first year of a university bachelor's degree or higher applicants will only be considered if they have obtained the minimum unum points as outlined above with regards to students who are currently doing science courses it is of note that currently the university is no longer taking in students unless you have completed a degree an undergraduate degree in that course For example in the past whenever somebody was not accepted at um, school of medicine they will usually apply for a science subject at another tertiary institution and they will then try to apply back to school of medicine the following year um, and that used to work in the past but currently at the moment and i'm saying currently because things are always changing that's why it's important to always be updated you need to finish um, either degree in that science related course if you would want to apply it's no longer the same at the moment all this information is taken from the requirements that was released um, based on the new curriculum and um, we also contacted the faculty officer and yes so guys it is important that um national diplomas any diploma or certificate certificates and diplomas are not considered for entry they are not considered for entry concerning the transfer right it says transfer of students from other programs in other schools in the faculty of health sciences and veterinary medicine including um, pharmacy dentistry nursing and public health allied health and veterinary medicine will be subjected to the approval will be subjected to the approval by um, associate deans of the concerned schools as well as approval by the school of medicine if they have obtained a minimum unum points as outlined above or as determined by the school so what this means yeah, is that if you are currently doing a health course if you're currently doing a health course for example you are doing pharmacy you are doing um dentistry for example if you're in second semester of pharmacy and you want to go to do medicine you want to leave pharmacy and you want to um, enter the course of medicine so what has to happen is that you'll have to apply you'll have to apply into school of medicine you know you have to get an application form and apply into school of medicine and then you need to meet the minimum requirements and then you have you have to go through the selection process and then if you're successful you can get admission into medicine 
that's that's the process regarding um the anyone that has an inquiry on transferring and only after registration of the course like after you have been accepted let's say you have um been accepted into medicine and only after the registration of the course um will, can, will you be able then to apply for exemption of certain courses right and this also applies to anyone maybe that is studying abroad and wants to come do medicine in namibia so after applying into school of medicine and you are accepted um and only at, after registration are you able to apply for exemption for certain modules that you feel like okay i have done this already i wouldn't want to do it again only it's only after registration that you are able to do that right and um the university decides you know whether you'll be exempted or not it continues to say that um transfer of students from other medicine degree programs from other institutions or universities may be considered by the school based on the availability of space and provided that they have obtained the minimum unum points as outlined um, or as determined by the school okay so um yes if you are studying medicine um in another university or another country it says that you will be considered based on the availability of space as well as provided you have obtained the minimum requirements okay but you need to take note that um you it doesn't necessarily mean if you are fifth year you are going to be fifth year here no um there will be a certain scale or a certain comparison okay their school knows what they're doing so um just bear in mind that just because you're fifth year you're final year that side doesn't mean you're going to be final year here because the aim is to make sure that you are up to standard um, with the system of training people to become health professionals in namibia the other thing is that mature age entry is currently not being considered in medicine in the course of medicine it is considered in other courses um, it's considered in dentistry but currently it's not considered in medicine but um these things always change um the things are always changing so um you never know if if anything changes at all and um we have come to the end of this video please if you haven't subscribed to this channel um subscribe please do subscribe also follow us on instagram um we have we have an instagram page follow us on tiktok if you are on tiktok and um, also don't forget to put on the not notification bell so that you are notified every time we have a new video and guys please do put your questions in the comments and for other people who have commented and we haven't yet gotten to answering your questions we have been saving those comments to do a q and a so that we can get into details um when we answer your questions because we want to make sure that um, you get the right information that um, you get to understand um, the things that we're going to be communicating to you as we are answering your questions. So guys, um, yeah, so a Q&A will be coming up. Um, so do not be discouraged. Do comment. Please do comment. Thank you so much.